we're going to see now how to install a second WordPress website. So as you remember, we got this uh, structure, Docker, Nginx, and WordPress, and inside of it, we have all of the directories for each of the websites as shown here. So we have already deployed this one, and now we're going to de deploy a second one. And this folder, it has been actually created by Docker in order to process the data through volumes. We're going for the second one. And we're going to edit this .env file. So as always, this is um, by default, by default latest. And here, as you remember, we're going to set up the domain name dash db. Of course, it's however you want. Data db run WordPress. And as for my SQL database, yes. The WordPress version is going to be the latest one, my domain name. And in the middle, I'm going to type my domain name. This is the way you can organize yourself. It's just personal preference. That's pretty much it. We save it and we leave. And now we're going to edit compose YAML. And the main dash db, the name of our domain dash WordPress. And this belongs to the database name service. Yeah. And finally, in the WordPress CLI, we specify the database service view. And that's pretty much it. We save it and hopefully it's going to work. So first of all, I want to show you that we got already the other container of the other website. So we're going to start the other one. Docker compose uh, up dash d. So it's starting. And we can check out the logs if you want to see what errors there are. It's the most recent 30 lines. Looks like everything is quite, I don't know, it's, there's something wrong here. But anyway, let's try. It will work. Yes, it is working. Come on. Yep. Installing WordPress. Success. And remember, I mean, and yes, we got now one WordPress, learn WordPress, and here, learn Docker. I'm refreshing so you can see that it is still working.